So uh, okay. Don Barnes on the phone with us and uh, founding member of 38 Special. You guys are going to be in town in just a matter of days now. Uh, yeah, yeah, man, we're looking forward to it. Man, it's it's been a it's been a little while since you guys have been here. Uh, you came in, you played Music Fest a few years ago, and yeah. um, I remember somebody that uh, had 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 seen you guys downtown and. I think the response was, "Man, thirty-eight special rocks." <laughs> oh man, we come out, we go out. It's, a, it's you know uh, all all cylinders, you know, running on all cylinders. We we've been around for a long time, and we've got the live show down. We've got everything that you want to hear through the history of the band, from from movie songs and all the MTV years and all. Oh, the yeah. we, we were for, fortunate to have about fifteen top forty, top twenty, top ten songs over the years. So. We just line them up, and you know, we take the audience for a ride, and it's a it's a big time, it's a big party. We've always been known to bring that kind of party. So, uh, you know, after an hour and forty minutes, you know, we're, they're all exhausted, and we're exhausted <laughs> along with them. So, <laughs> more bang, more bang for the buck, I guess. I got right? you. Uh, so, so when did the Thirty Eight Special start? And I understand you're you're the one that started this whole thing. So, uh, what year was it? You remember? Yeah, it was well. We you know we're started. We're celebrating next year our fiftieth anniversary. Wow! We, yeah, we, yeah. We started in the third grade. That's our story, and we're sticking with it. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, we are all neighborhood guys. We we uh, you know made our mistakes in public and did, did everything wrong, and finally <laughs> found a found the right way and had a couple of you know albums that went straight over the cliff, just like anybody else. I don't really recommend some, somebody trying this because you're yeah. going to have to except a lot of failure first but you know we ended up selling 20 million albums but we were too wow. stubborn to quit after all those years but uh <laughs> you know we finally got a foot in the door video and had uh, kept backing up one hit after another and hold on loosely and caught up in you and rock into the night and we, we got all oh, the yeah. uh, second chance there uh, just a lineup of uh, songs so like i said we we have so many of them we would if we played them all full length we'd be there about four hours so oh we wouldn't we have to be all right the, yeah, I know. We, we put uh, you know about two and a half minutes of each song, and we just bang those songs back up against each other. And you know, like I said, people we'll see the instant reactions of people that they're high fiving each other, singing along. It's my sound man and said, "Man, sometimes I got to turn you up. The crowd's louder than you are singing." You know, <laughs> does it? But uh, it's got to make you feel good though. Whenever you you know you're up there singing, doing the stuff, and you look out and you see everybody singing along, they know the lyrics. Uh, yeah, it's got to make you feel it's good. The greatest, it's the greatest thing because you know we were we weren't winning for a long time, so you know mm -hmm. we, desperation had set in way back there in the early days, and we just you know we kept hammering away at it. But yeah, to, to yeah. look out there and you see sometimes uh, you know the tears in their eyes of a song that might remind them of <clears> someone <throat> they lost. Or something, sure. You know? Get, gets me a little choked up. <laughs> well, well but, let, me, uh, let me ask you, know, you this now, Don. When you know you're you're talking about like at the very beginning, you know things not all eight cylinders were running and everything. Yeah. And right. all of a sudden, something pops. What is it? What do you think it is that that makes it happen all of a sudden? Because I mean, yeah, most most bands will put in oh you know many many years, and then all of a sudden you've got that one album that comes out. And everything is just right. Is it? The, is it just the song material? Is it uh, something yeah, else? Yeah, it's it's uh, you you learn as you go. I've all, I've told these young guys I have a band. You know, they want to get a record deal. I said, buddy, if you absolutely have to do it, <laughs> but you got about a, you got to write about five hundred songs before you can publish about fifty. You know? Yeah. So all of those songs you learn by your mistakes. You learn <clears> by <throat> what what it takes. But mainly, what, to answer your question, you. You hone a sound that works at radio. We we were we were kind of all over the map trying to be uh, copying other what southern rock bands had done in the early days. And that was something that Ronnie Van Zandt from Leonard Skinner. He was you know we all grew up in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, it was the Jacksonville was a big Navy town, jumping all around here, but it was a Navy city. Uh -huh. There were four four naval bases there. So all these bands, Almond Brothers. I'm talking about Dwayne and Greg Almond. Ronnie Van Zant Skinner, uh, Molly Hatchet, Blackfoot, uh, Outlaws. Everybody played Sailors Clubs at 15 years old. So you played all these cover songs. You're hmm. young. You're 
you know, you make a hundred bucks a week. That's big money at 15, 16 years old. Sure. So, you <laughs> yeah. know, so you, you play all these cover songs and you start learning the craft of it. You start learning the, the formation and foundation of songs. And, uh, you see where the payoff is. You see where the chorus and now the br- the bridge and now the pre-chorus ramps up to the big payoff and all that stuff. Then you get a little cocky and you start thinking, well, I can write my own songs now. And that's when you go starve for 10 years. You know, <laughs> so It's not something to highly recommend. But uh, it really becomes a point where you're trying to get on the radio and everybody is vying for that same amount of you know, three or four minutes on a radio with, sure. with a lot of, you know, commercials and you know how the whole deal is. It's oh, yeah. 20, only 24 hours in a day. Well, everybody's trying to find that little slot that please play this, our record. So you find something that uh, has a good hook and it works and, and uh, you got to <clears> have people that says, that say, you know, sure, we'll, we'll, we'll give that a try. We'll, you mm-hmm. know. So that happened about our fourth album. Most people think the Hold On Loosely was, which is our anthemic song over the years. That was our fourth album. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't even overnight success yeah. there. Yet. Yeah. But Most- anyway, so it, it, it just becomes, you know, songwriting, you get better at it, you get better at the craft. Uh, you build on, you start learning where you basically less is more. You're stripping things away because you're throwing everything in the, but the kitchen sink because you're desperate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. At this point, at some point, you start taking things out and you start stripping it down and being just the essence. And I've all, always said about like a, a painter that paints a, a canvas. You know, some some painters spend years painting every leaf on the tree. Some painters just one big swath of a brushstroke, <laughs> and it, yeah. it says so much. You know, absolutely. So that, that's what that's what songwriting is. Yeah. You know? yeah. So. All these all these years on the road and um, in the studios and doing all that. What do you like to do when you get some downtime? And I'm, I'm assuming you do get some eventually. We do. We uh, we go out. We do about a hundred cities a year. I'm telling you, we're still doing it every year. Wow, that's uh, it's a it's a great. I got to tell you, it's a great job to bring that kind of joy to people. We sure, the instant reactions and everything, but. Yeah, we do have our time. You know, I got a boat, and we, you know, we play golf, and we guys bring the clubs out here on the road, and then we find a golf course, and hey, we exchange gr- green peas for tickets. You know, <laughs> you know, nobody, sure. I mean, nobody's any, any good at playing golf. It's not we're going to make the tour time soon. <laughs> we're out there, you know. <laughs> well, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a good way to kind of relieve some of the stress and everything. Oh Always, yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, we're we're really looking forward to seeing you guys here. It's a uh, like yeah, I say, it's man, been a couple of years in, but but you know, thirty eight special. I mean, it's one of those when we play you guys on the radio. Still, you know, every day something comes up on. Yeah. Uh, and uh, still sounds good. The good thing about it is it's one of those classics uh, that it it always uh, sounds good next to you know what's playing now and uh, yeah. it stands the test of time. It's still, that's still relevant. Yeah. Yeah, relevant. absolutely. We, uh, it, it, we call it muscle and melody. You know, you got that muscular guitar, you know, end of face attitude, and then you got a good melody, good story over the top. And we always felt like, hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know, <laughs> <laughs> might as well. Uh, anything, yeah. anything new coming out? To uh, new album? Yeah, we're, we are work. We've got, like I said, we have 50th anniversary next year. We're working on a, a legacy package. It's a double CD. It's going to one CD is going to have all the course the history historical hits over the years, and the other CD is new music. So we've Going about, oh. uh, probably have eight songs. We've already done, we've been in the studio. We've got a, that's like phase one. We're going to phase two. We try to find the time between touring and everything. So you pop in there, but uh, it'll be out next. We're going to start this anniversary probably next March. Uh, we've got a whole new stage production, everything, but that'll be happening. But uh, the songs we've got, they're, they're great, where they're a, a, a little bit of a throwback to the past and the modern, you know, mm-hmm. uh, approach to it. And uh, really good stuff. With great stuff, we've we've hooked up with our old uh, songwriter Jim Jim Peterick, who's a co-writer of all the years back there. We've been friends for forty years, and uh, so got some great stuff coming out. So we're looking forward to all that. So it's a, you know, it's like fifty is a good round number. I'm not going to do another one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing sixty. <laughs> yeah, you you guys have been on the radio about as long as I have because. Uh, yeah. I'm actually hitting 49 uh, in December. And, oh, yeah. yeah, so yeah, next sure. year will be my 50, uh, 50th. And so um, yeah, you guys started just before me. And well, it's been a fun time. So I've been playing. I mean, it's funny because 
you know, I was playing all your songs when, hey, here's something brand new from 38 Special. And now yeah. I'm like, hey, here's this classic from 38 Special. It still yeah. sounds good, no, you know. We, we, we appreciate the support. And I oh, know that, yeah. you know, you, you 49 years in radio, man, and my hat's off to you because I know all the machinations of radio oh, and man. the fickle nature of the public and just yeah. everything and pro- <laughs> program directors and all. I, I understand all yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. So congratulations on all your success. Well, great, and, and for you, you guys, too. So, uh, is there is there anybody in the music field that you have not worked with um, that you would like to work with? And uh, I, I well, know there's course, probably more know, we than were, a few. Yeah, we were all big Beatle fans, so if it was great, it'd be great to work with Paul McCartney, somebody like oh, that. Yeah, you know, I just I just did a personal appearance down in uh, down in Texas. Uh, city called Gun Barrel City, Texas. I'd never <laughs> heard of it, but it was with Billy Gibbons from ZZ Top. Oh. And we've become friends over the years. And, and yeah. uh, also uh, Skunk, Skunk Baxter from Doobie Brothers, Steely Dan. Oh, you're talking about some great person, people there. Appearance. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm humbled to be around these guys, you know. But it's great to be friends and just chat about sure. ordinary things. And, and so, uh, but, uh, yeah, over the years, we played with everybody. We, we've yeah. done shows with with you know, uh, we we're all friends with all these guys that we used to be competitive with. You know, back mm-hmm. then you're you're trying to blow each other off the stage. You know, all that kind of thing. And you you now we're all friends because we survived after all those years. So <laughs> we all have mutual respect for each other. You know. Yeah. Well, that's great. That's great. Well, I know you guys are on the road. I know you're having a fun time, and uh, you know we're looking forward to um, seeing you guys at. Getting ready yeah, because man. we got the uh, the big uh, LPGA tour that's coming through El Dorado, and then of course oh, Murphy oh, yeah. USA sponsors that, and then uh, they're the ones you know bringing you guys back to El Dorado. And um, yeah. man, it's uh, oh, it's gonna man, be a it's fun a big night. time. I'm telling, it's a large time. Everybody come out. We we have a big party together. It's everything. It's the spirit of it all. It's the celebration of the brotherhood, the camaraderie we've always had. We actually still like each other after all these years. Can you believe it? <laughs> well, that's saying a lot because, you know, I mean, like even the Everly brothers yeah. didn't like each other for a while. You yeah, know, they were no, brothers. We, yeah. yeah. No, we, we roll <laughs> out the road trading insults with each other and laughing it up, you know. So, oh, so yeah. it's a good time. And people can see on the stage, they can see us. We, we have a good time together. We're brothers, you know. We've been doing it. Even our crew is family with us, too, you know. We get oh, that's great. Roll and get the job done, yeah. That's great. Well, Don, thanks so much for taking a little time to uh, talk to us. Uh, and we'll see you here in just a couple of nights. And uh, Yeah. We'll, and we'll rock it into the middle of the night. Absolutely, and thanks for having me on. Everybody, make it out. We're going to have a big time. It's a it's a big show. Uh, I've got everything with even movie songs from from you know Revenge of the Nerds movie, you know, Back to Paradise. <laughs> we make sure everybody hears their favorite song, and uh, so it's a it's a large time. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks for having me on, bud.